yes hello everyone welcome to your physics classroom i am lawa lalitunji your physics tutor to our returning viewers welcome back to your physics classroom to our new viewers please do well to press your subscribe button turn on your notification button press your like button share our link with your friends and put your comment in the comment box as we all know that uh, physics theory and objective will soon be written in this season of NECO 2025 and likewise in some schools or most schools generally the uh, third time examination will soon start and this question also can be of A by coming out in their various examinations so we are doing revision for both NECO post UTME and those people that are in secondary school maybe SS1, 2 and 3 or SS1 and 2 so let's start as we continue with this season of NECO. These are NECO questions, possible and likely questions that we are expecting. There is no way question will come out in NECO and it won't pass through all these topics. So here we go with, uh, I can see, you can see my paper with me that I want to use to solve and this is the question. So without wasting time, you can see the questions. I'll be picking up the question one after the other. I have question one, I have question two. The many part of the question two is at the back here. I have question three, question four, question five. I tell you this is a standard NECO question. All right, let's solve it together. And that's it. All what I need from you is that bring out your paper or bring out your notes, your pen, your calculator, all the devices that you need. You bring them, put them beside you. And likewise, if you have any question, you drop it in the comment section. And if you are lucky to be watching us live, you also can do the same thing. Now, let's start without wasting time. That's why I said turn on your notification button because anytime we are live, you will be able to join us and you watch and ask a question live and direct. Now, the first question here, I'm drawing my line to divide my book so that will be enough. I call this the solution page. I believe you can see my paper very well. The first question here is talking about capacitors, two capacitors of three microfarad and four microfarads are connected in parallel. And this combination is then placed in series with a two microfarad capacitor that's full stop a potential difference of 12 volt is applied across the circuit and draw the circuit diagram to do the calculation without wasting time let's go to the first question we have uh, let me call this one number one so we have two capacitors we have capacitor of three microfarad and we have capacitors of four microfarad they are parallel that's why you see parallel lines never meet uh this this is the circuit for day i mean for the two of them rather and now they are connected to uh a two microfarad rooms in series that one is here and all together all of them are connected to the source that is 12 volts i think that's the first question they ask us to draw the circuit with this simple circuit you are good and you have gotten your answer we have settled number one a now one b said that uh, we should calculate the charge on three capacitor now let's say b1 that is to find uh, the charge on three microfarad don't forget that three microfarad microfarad means micro means times 10 is per minus six and those of you that you have not watched our videos on capacitor, please do go to watch our videos on capacitor. Very rich. It talks about everything on capacitor. Now, to find these things, all of us know that whenever we want to talk about charge and capacitor, the formula that relates to charge and capacitor is Q equals to CV. That is, at this moment, we can see clearly that our C is 3 like farad. Unfortunately, we don't have V because this V we are seeing is a V of the old circuit. And likewise, for you to use V of the old circuit, the Q as well, so that is we can start as a mini. Now, to start with the first thing, let me call it step one. Our first step or step one should be uh, since we have the total volts, we can also determine the total uh, the total capacitor to know the total charge. Let's do that now. Determine the total charge, determine the total charge. You know, when capacitors are arranged in parallel. You know what it means i don't want us to waste time when they are in the parallel that is ct equals to c1 plus c2 without one we can get three 
plus 4 to give us 7 microfarad. But for the issue of when they are in series, you know what it means that 1 over C total equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So this time around, this one has become our C1 and this is our C2. So we can now say 1 over C total equals to 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2. When you find the LCM, please do where to find the LCM. Avoid calculate, don't use calculator yet, do the LCM properly. So 14, 7, 2, 7, I have 1 over C total. So 1 over C total equals to 9 over 14. When you turn the inverse, I'll be having C total equals to 14 over 9. With the aid of calculator, I'll be having uh, what we call 1.56 microfarad now you can say i have not touched my microfarad i will still touch it all right since we can move forward uh now we have known the c total we have known the total voltage now we cannot find step two step two determine the what the total charge so q total charge equals to total capacitor times total voltage you can say i put total total there we will know the reason why I'm putting total. I want us to settle all these charges we won't pass through now. We make our next question to be very simple. So total charge, that's what we'll find. So we come, what's our what we got here? 1.56 microfarad, that is times 10 to the power minus 6. Microfarad means times 10 to the power minus 6. Now times voltage, which is 12. So putting the two together, when you put two together with your aid of calculator, I will be having uh, 18. 0.72 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 charge, or you say 18.72 micro coulomb, and that's how we said today. But we have not finished the question. The question says we should find uh, what do you call it the charge on the charge on 3. Now we now need to know something. What is that that we need to know? We need to know that when you talk about uh capacitors when capacitors are arranged in when capacitors are arranged in parallel the voltage is the same when capacitors are arranged in parallel the voltage uh, is the same but unfortunately now this voltage we are having now is voltage of total let's go and find the voltage of their own circuit the voltage in this circuit is what we are referring to that it should be the same because they are parallel now let's now go and find the voltage of the parallel let me call that one step three. Step three. So the voltage of parallel, that's what we want to find right now. And now can we get it still on the same formula? We say voltage of parallel is equals to Q. Because the, the, when they are in parallel, they are still maintaining the same charge. And the whole circuit, I'm talking about the whole circuit, over a capacitor of the parallel. Can you see where I'm breaking it down? So that you can be very simple. That's why I'm using all those uh, simple, simple English. Now, the V parallel is one of the final total charge is this um, 18.72 times 10 to the power minus 6 over our parallel here, our C parallel here. You can see my hand, 7. And you know this symbol means times 10 to the power minus 6. Please calm down, don't skip any part so that you enjoy. You can see the one this is science and calculation, you don't need to rush, and likewise, I don't want to rush so that we'll get the answer. So, when you put the two together, you know this will we cancel this one, and at the end of the day, I'm having 2.67 as my vote. 2.67. Now, I cannot get what I want to find. Now, the charge, now the charge on three now. On 3 microfarad with that formula Q equals to CV. So the charge will now be uh, 3 times 3 to the power minus 6 times 2.67 volts. If I use my calculator very well, I will be getting 8 point. You also can try it 8.01 times, I'm multiplying it like that, times 3 to the power minus 6 coulomb, or you say. 8.01 micro column and that's how I settled that. Now, the next question I say, 
we should find calculate one the position of the image please do well to watch our video on uh, lights mirror concave mirror and the likes i did a lot of explanation the way i told you some things that uh, at times you can even answer questions on mirror without even calculation how they have told you your focal length is 20 and object is placed uh, after 20 which is 30 so i remember that your center of curvature your radius of curvature is, tw is 20 times 2 which is 40 so telling you that the object is in between the center of curvature and the focal and the principal focus when object is played between c and f where will your image form that's the key point the image must be formed at the back of c now let's turn to mathematics and let's see how it goes so we want to find v and if more from last time anywhere in the world one over f equals one over u plus one over v stands anywhere in the world so we have one over 20 equals to 1 over 30 plus 1 over v please don't rest on calculator your primary school techniques please apply collect light times minus here everything equals to 1 over v lcm 60 20 is 60 that's 3 minus 2 equals to 1 over v 1 over 60 equals to 1 over v so cross multiply v equals to 60 centimeter you can see that where the image is formed is at the far far back of the c and that is set which where the position in case you have multiple position that is at the back of c at the back of c now moving forward i think we have answered that one state whether the image is real or virtual and you can see the image is formed at the front of the mirror so the image is real image real image and lastly they said uh find the magni what magnification when you talk about magnification anywhere in the world magnification is talking about size of image over size of object is also apply, applicable in biology the size of image size of objects and here and here our size is the distance so we have m equals to v over u which is m equals to 60 over what's our u 30 m equals to 2 magnification is 2 and that is how we set which or number 2 Question 1, question 2, gone. Question 1, question 2, gone. Now we are moving to question 3. Please always follow the sequence of the video. You no, know, the video may be too long. You just be following the sequence. Make sure you watch all the videos. If you are preparing for NECO exam, you are preparing for your total time examination, you are preparing for JAM, take your time to watch the video. Don't skip any part. Put the, ask your question in the comment box. I'm here to answer you. At any time, T, I see your question. I go to question number three. Question number three. Okay, let me start my three here. I think I, have, I still have space here. I have used this space for number one. I'm part of number, I think we okay, this space for number one. This place for number two. Okay, number three also resume here. I think number three will resume. Okay, number three will resume here. 